At this time, I'm going to hand the call over to Pastor Sarah Morgan. Good morning, Pastor Morgan. Good morning, Prophetess Carla. God bless you. Good morning, Prayer Call family. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. If you have not already invited somebody, please go ahead and do that. Hit that share button. Uh, uh, tweet somebody. Text somebody. Uh, Facebook somebody. FaceTime. Whatever. <laughs> but most importantly, if you have someone in close proximity, uh, kick them, pinch them, slap them with a holy slap, and tell them it's time to pray. Hallelujah. Yeah, please go ahead. It's really going to be very powerful this morning. It is exactly seven more days, amen, to end, amen, our 21-day fast. Seven is a significant number in the, in the Bible. Seven is when God begins to complete some things. He begins to perfect those things concerning us. What concerns us concerns him. Hallelujah. I am very, very excited, praise God, with, about what God is doing Amen, and what he is going to continue to do. So welcome once again to the prayer altar call where we gather at the altar to be altered. Glory to God. Uh, Psalm 5, amen, as it is my protocol, amen, uh, says, O oh Lord, give ear to my words, O oh Lord. Consider my meditation. I need God. We need God to give us his undivided attention. We need the ear of God. We need God to hear. The Bible says that the ears, that, that, that the ear of the Lord is inclined to the to the cry of the righteous. The Bible says in Second uh, Chronicles seven, you know, uh, verse number fourteen, that very popular scripture that when we do certain things, the first guarantee He gives us is, "Then I will hear." So hear. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Hallelujah. The voices of the living are the voices that can be heard. Amen. If you are in the land of the living, then you can open your mouth and, and say something. And when you say something, then your voice is able to uh, uh, declare, amen, the, 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 the desire, the entreaty, the petition, the thanksgiving. So as long as we're in the land of the living and we have a voice, when we wake up, we need to register with heaven. Hallelujah. And let heaven know that we are here. Amen. So we are going to lift up our voices. Amen. For two minutes. Praise the Lord. Amen. And begin to thank God. We're going to begin to let heaven know that we are grateful for waking us up this morning. We are grateful for the use and activity of our limbs. We are grateful, amen, that we have not been silenced, amen, by the enemy. We are grateful that we are still able to praise our, our God. Hallelujah. And so for two minutes, please unmute the line and open your mouth and begin to just begin to thank God, acknowledge him for who he is, amen, and give him the praise and the glory that is due his most wonderful name. Father, we just thank you and we bless you. We honor you and we magnify you. We glorify you, Father God. And there is no one to We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the We thank you, Lord God, that we are in the land of the We thank you, Lord God, that we are in the land of the We thank you, Lord God, that we are in the land of the 
in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless you this morning. We honor you this morning. We salute you. We celebrate you. We barack you. We uh, exalt you, O God, because you are the true and the living God. And we pray, O God, that the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart will be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our God and our Redeemer, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Psalm 124, I was in here this morning before, amen, the line opened, and it says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say, let let our nation say, let our families say, let our children say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, amen, verse 2, the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, when infirmity rose up against us, when, when plagues and epidemic rose up against us, when poverty rose up against us, let me tell you, people of God, we want to acknowledge that if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let me tell you, we don't know where we would be today. And it says, then they had swallowed us, or they would have swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had would have overwhelmed us. The stream had would have gone over our soul. Then the proud waters, amen, the proud challenges, the proud uh, 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 situations that we've had to deal with, I mean, <clears throat> from the beginning... <clears throat> I'm sorry, from the first quarter of the 2020 would have overtaken us, gone over our souls. But it says in verse 6, blessed be the Lord who has not given us. Amen. He has not given us to the prey of their teeth. He has not given us, amen, to the desires of our enemies. And he says in verse 7, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Not just one fowler, several fowlers, prulo, amen. There are different fowlers, amen, that that, that enemy may have uh, uh, set traps, amen, to, 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 to trap us, to ensnare us. But he said, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare, out of the trap of the fowlers, of the enemy. The snare is broken and we are escaped. 
gate. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. I want us to lift up our voices for the next two minutes. Amen. On the, on this day, praise the Lord and declare that, Lord, we acknowledge that if it had not been for you, because there are many that have gone through the same things we've gone through, that have gone through the same challenges that we've gone, we've had to deal with, and yet were not able, did not have the ability, the capacity, but we are grateful, we are thankful that it, if it had not been for you, where would we be? For the next two minutes, open your mouth and begin to be grateful to the Lord. Amen. For just being God in our lives, in our families, in our, in our, in our nation, in every situation that we've had to deal with. Amen. Especially from the beginning of the first quarter of 2020. Amen. Please unmute the light. Amen. For two minutes and let us declare that that our souls have escaped because of the Lord, who is our God. Father, we thank you and we bless you, Lord God. We that had been on the side of us, oh God, where would we be, oh God? We thank you this morning, Father God, with everything that is within us, Lord God, for breaking every snare, for breaking every trap, oh God, and causing our souls, our minds, our wills, our emotions, oh God, to escape. Escape, oh God, out of every trap of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, when the snares were sent, oh God, the snares of infirmity, the snares of sickness, oh God, the snares of disease, the snares of poverty, the snares of lack, the snares of defeat, oh God. Father God, the snares of death, oh God. Father, we thank you that you broke those snares, oh God, and our souls escaped, oh God, and you will continue to break them, oh God, that we will continue to escape. In the name of Jesus, we declare that our help is in the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. We thank you, Lord God, for your name, O oh God. Your name that is mighty. Your name that is powerful. Your name that is great. Your name that is eternal. Your name that is immortal. Your name that is immutable. We thank you, eternal King of glory, that the snares of the enemy have been broken and our souls have escaped. Escaped. The souls of our children have escaped. Unmute the light one more time and oh, and begin to declare to the Lord and thank you for every snare, every trap. While you are on the highway, on the freeway, going about the day, there are invisible snares, there are demonic snares, there are satanic snares that we were not able to see, but we escaped. 
day because the Lord was for us and the Lord was with us. Please unmute the light for two more minutes and continue, oh God, to declare this to the Lord and thank Him. We thank you, Father God, for every we thank you, Father. 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 We thank you, Father
You know, that's why God looks at the heart. Man looks at the outward appearance, amen, but God looks at the heart. So we're going to take two minutes, amen, we're going to pray, amen, once again, here we are, Lord, at the altar, Lord God. Remember, the altar is a place of sacrifice, amen, it is a place of slaughter. When, when animals were brought to the altar, they were brought as a sacrifice. When they got to the, to the altar as a sacrifice, they were slaughtered, amen, that's why God said, take Isaac. To, uh, to to uh, to to uh, uh, Abraham and, and 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 build an altar, Amen. And 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 the child asked the, the father, Lord, because he knew the law of the altar that the, an altar without a sacrifice is dysfunctional. It is the sacrifice that gives credence to the altar. So people can build altars all day, but if there's no sacrifice on the altar, then 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 the altar is is is, is irrelevant, Amen. So it is always a sacrifice. So he told Abraham, take Isaac, amen, your only, put him on the altar, build the altar first, then place him on the altar, and then lay the sacrifice, amen? So the altar is a place of sacrifice. The altar is a place whereby, you know, that sacrifice is slain, amen, upon the altar. When the blood runs on that sacrifice, amen, it is blood that attracts God to the altar, amen? The blood of the sacrifice is what attracts God to the altar, and then God will either accept Accept the sacrifice or reject the sacrifice. Amen. That's why the Bible always speaks about when the, when the altars were raised and the sacrifices were brought before God. Either the sacrifice went up as a sweet-smelling savor or it did not go up as a sweet-smelling savor. Amen. And I don't want to teach about the law of the altar. Amen. But we are going to pray in the name of Jesus. And as we've come to the altar today, Lord God, we come as a living sacrifice, and we're presenting our bodies, amen, as our reasonable service, and we are asking for clemency, we're asking for pardon, we're asking for forgiveness, and for every sin that we may have committed against you, sins of selfishness, self-centeredness, self-righteousness, amen, the sins, all of these different uh, things, amen, that we have been uh, going before God with, amen, for three minutes straight, Please unmute the line, amen, and let's go before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, we are asking, oh God, that even as we come before God, I'm <laughs> 
we thank you lord god because you are a god who is kind you are you are you are long suffering you are slow to anger you are gracious oh god and you are slow to anger and quick to forgive in the name of jesus i we thank you and this morning father god we receive your forgiveness we receive your clemency we receive your your pardon in the name and the blood of jesus christ the son of the living god amen and amen hallelujah well prayer also call family we have been in isaiah 58 amen it is very very rich amen praise the lord this entire fast amen uh, i know that the, the focus has really been isaiah 58 and then and i've really gone into isaiah 58 as never before amen and i just i, I just went in there again like I've never ever, amen, uh, gone into Isaiah 58. And it is so amazing that when we approach the Lord as a little child, amen, then he begins to take off layers, amen. He begins to take us layers. He begins to take us deeper. He begins to remove the scales from our eyes because the Bible says that seek and you will find, amen. Uh, uh, ask and it will be given. Seek, you will find. Knock and it will be opened unto you, amen. For whosoever uh, ask will, will receive whosoever seeketh or find whosoever knock it will be open. So there are realms and dimensions that God begins to open when we really go before him and begin to sincerely seek amen for him and his heart concerning a matter. And so Isaiah 58 is where we have been and, and I'm so very grateful, praise the Lord, amen, uh, as we are coming to the end of this particular 21 day fast for the, for the insight, for the revelation, for the depth, praise God, amen, and the new, amen, understanding of, of, of the heart of the Father. And so Isaiah 58, praise God, and we've been there and I'm just going to summarize it, amen, today and go where I really want to go. And uh, is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness to undo the heavy burdens amen uh we, we've dealt with that amen whereby sometimes you know we we take on false burdens burdens that god did not uh, assign us to take on and we are weighed down amen we are heavily weighed down with false burdens and then to undo those heavy burdens to let the oppressed to go free and and that that you you break every yoke amen every yoke the bible says that the yoke shall be removed from off your shoulder. Amen. And uh, I mean, the, the burden shall be removed from off your shoulder and the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of the anointing. Amen. And so God doesn't want us to go into, amen, the next year, into the next season, into the next chapter, weighed down, amen, with yokes and burdens, amen, that really we are not even qualified to be carrying. And it is, is it not to share your bread with the hungry, amen, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out. So really when you look at the summary of Isaiah 58, it literally what the Lord was saying to us, has been saying to us this entire, amen, 21 days as we've been seeking him, is that he will set us free, amen, from self and, and sinful nature. He will loosen the bands of weakness and undo the bonds of the yoke. He will bring freedom from oppression. He will transform you and I into givers. Amen. And to give us one of the signs, amen, that God gives us, amen, when we truly uh, fast according to the fast that the Lord has chosen, amen, is that you will find yourselves, amen, being released from the spirit of holding, the spirit of withholding, the spirit of stinginess, the spirit of saying, well, that's all I have. And you are released back into being a giver. Being a giver, because the, 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 the power of being a giver is the power that releases, amen? He says it is better to give than to receive. But a lot of times when we go through a lot of pain, we go through a lot of calamity, we go through a lot of misfortune, 
then the the the, uh, the other is begins to take over. In other words, hey, I'm gonna hold on this for my own family. I'm gonna hold on this for myself. Hey, everybody is ready to survive. And if you're not careful, then that spirit of stinginess that the, and the spirit of not giving begins to overtake you. Amen. And that's one of the things that the Lord wants to break as we move out of. Amen. 2020 is a 2021 because God is getting ready to open up things. I don't have the fullness of what God is saying, but I keep hearing I'm about to open up things. Amen. Open up things that have been shut down and the dimensions we're going to revisit as the Lord himself continues to remove the layers and give full understanding. But he, one of the things of that is that he transforms us into being a giver. And then he will give you the desire and ability to meet and to minister people's needs to the needs of others. We move out of the realm of being selfish. Amen. And, and into the realm of being unselfish. Amen. And then he says, I will allow you to see yourself as you really are. It is no longer about pointing the finger. It's no longer about looking at somebody else he allows us to look at us amen now look inward look inward amen it's not always about what's going on around you and what's going on around with everybody else you know but you are going to be naked and you will see your own self amen and then he says i will give you the uh, the spiritual insight and the influence no matter how dark and dismal the situation your light will break forth like the dawn you will help and, and, and you will help dispel the darkness and its power. In other words, God will enlighten you, the light of your understanding, and darkness will not be able to, 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 uh, uh, to comprehend. And recovery and healing will begin to come. Then will your health break forth. Amen. Uh, uh, speedily. Righteousness will precede you. Amen. Then righteousness will go before you and the glory of God will become our protection, our real God. God will protect us from, from the back. Amen. As he protected the children of Israel, as they left and they went into the wilderness, it was a pillar by night, a fire by day, a fire by night and a pillar by day. So God had he protected them. Amen. As they went forward, he was their rear, rear end, and the, and the Egyptians were not able to see to see them. Amen. And then you will answer your prayers. He will answer your prayers. He said, then will you call on me, and I will answer you. Amen. You will call, and he will answer. Amen. Which means it's possible for you to call. And number one, God will not hear, and then, of course, he will not answer. But he's saying that if, if you observe this fast, amen, according to the way I have asked you to do it, there are benefits that you are going to enjoy. I want you to know, people of God, amen, that we are going to enjoy these benefits. Amen. We will enjoy these videos. We'll see the, the, the benefits of this fast, literally. Amen. Literally. He said, you will call and I will answer and God will manifest his presence with you. You will cry out and he will reply, here I am. He will adjust our attitude. He will continually guide us. He will uh, fulfill our desires in the midst of harsh and adverse circumstances. He will give you strength, amen, to continue, amen, to, to, to serve, to continue to believe, to continue to trust. He will make you fruitful like a watered garden, my God. And he will make you like living water that will never run dry. We're dealt with that. We're going to go back to that and I'm going to deal with uh, what I want to deal with today. Praise God. But then I want to show you the summary. <clears throat> and then he says, you will become a rebuilder, number one. Number two, you will become a restorer. Number three, you will become a repairer. Oh, my God. Amen. And God is saying that after these 21 days, God is now elevating you into the status of rebuilders, into the status of restorers, into the status of repairers of the breaches and the gaps. And then the Lord will lift you up, amen, and exalt you, and it will give you more faith. Hallelujah. And so I want you to know that as we come to the close of this, of this fast, and we're going to continue to deal and plow through. God is saying, I'm, going to, I'm, 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 I'm bringing you to the, the status of a rebuilder. 
Amen. You'll be rebuilders. You're going to rebuild those things that have been broken. Amen. In your families that have been broken. Amen. Uh, in and around you, those things that have been broken, Amen. whether emotionally, mentally, psychologically, God says, I am, I am bringing you into the status of a rebuilder, into the status of a restorer, into the status of a repairer. And, and, and as you come into that status, people of God, you, you will begin to literally see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living as ever before. He will, lay, he will raise you up. He will exalt you. He will elevate you. You will walk in your high places. This is what the word of the Lord is saying. And, and, and so I want to praise God for two minutes. Amen. To just open our mouth. Amen. And begin to thank God. Amen. For the status of the rebuilder, the status of the restorer, the status of the repairer. Amen. That as we walk in that new status, his grace will enable us. His grace will empower us. I, I don't have enough time. I'm all oh that. Amen. But open your open this now for two minutes and let's thank God for this status right here before we com- co- we conclude and go to where I really want to go. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you, Lord God, for the For elevating us to that status, oh God, that oh God, you've entrusted us with the anointing, with the grace, oh God, to be rebuilders, oh God, of those things that have been broken down, that you've trusted us, oh God, to be rebuilders of broken relationships, broken Father God uh, families, broken Father God, even walls, oh God, even in and around us, oh God, in the name of the blood of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Father God, for trusting us, O oh God, and trusting us, O oh God, and to bring us into that the status, O oh God, of rebuilders, restorers, O oh God, and repairers, O oh God. And we thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go today, praise God, Um, the last time. Amen. Last week, I believe. Amen. I really focus on, and you will be like a well-watered garden. Amen. A well-watered garden. Amen. This is really my focus for us. Amen. In this, because as we as we transition from 2020, Amen. God willing into 2021. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God doesn't want us to go into 2021 like a, a dry garden. He doesn't want us to go in that same status of drought, amen, and, 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 and dryness. He wants us to go and, and into 2021, praise God, as a well-watered garden, amen. And so as I was uh, continuing to go there, the, the Lord took me to Genesis 2, verse number 10, 
Amen. Remember that the Holy Spirit, amen, uh, the, the well water, the water is, is the Holy Spirit, amen, that irrigates that garden, that waters that garden, that nurtures that garden, amen. And it says in um, uh, Genesis 2, verse number 10, and the river went out of Eden, out of Eden <clears throat> to water the garden. The river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and became into four heads, my God, into four heads. And so, um, and we all know, amen, that, 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 that uh, when you begin to talk about uh, God, the Garden of Eden, going back to God, Eden, it is evident that there is, uh, uh, this is more than just a physical, you know, piece of real estate. I've heard people preach a whole lot of things, Eden is this, no, but when you really go, remember, all truth is parallel. What is truth, true in the natural is true in the realm of the spirit, amen? And so when you talk about it, God is always dealing with the spiritual aspects of things more than ever before. Amen. When it comes to these things. And then he said that it's really talking about the state of being. Amen. That um, uh, that man was in when he was first placed here on the earth. Amen. And he was placed on the earth. Amen. As master and Lord over all the earth, above all things, all things, which means uh, about sickness, about pain, about death about infirmity, about all of these things, amen, because it was a well-watered garden, a well-watered garden, but a river went out of Eden to water the garden, amen, to water that garden, and hence man was able to live above all of those things. There's no way in the Bible where it says that man experienced all that, you know, that we're experiencing today. No, because it was a well-watered garden. And that is the status that God is restoring us to. Amen. Especially after these 21 days. Those of you that have participated, praise the Lord. Amen. This is the, the experience that God wants you to have. And Isaiah 51 verse number 3 says, For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. And he will make her, uh, her wilderness like Eden. Her wilderness is going to be made like Eden. And what is Eden? A well-watered garden. For a river went out of Eden and watered the garden. My God, the Spirit of God, amen, came out of Eden, praise God, and began and broke up into four tributaries and began to water the garden. He promised us, Isaiah 58, you will be as a well-watered garden, a well-watered. In other words, it's not going to be watered in some spots and some spots are dry. That's why the river, it came as one, but it broke into four. Amen? So that every area of your garden will be watered, and it will be watered well. It will be watered well so that it will be fruitful, and it will multiply, and it will begin to bring forth fruit, and fruit, much fruit, and fruit that will remain. And it says, for the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, uh, and thanksgiving, and the voice of melody. A river flowed out of Eden to water the garden. Amen. And it was divided and became four rivers. My God. Isaiah 40, I mean, Psalm 46, verse number four. And he says, there is a river, a river. One came out of Eden and watered the garden. Amen. And broke into four rivers. Amen. Plural. One river became plural and watered. That's how you are a well watered garden. A well-watered garden. That's why when Jesus spoke, and he says, he spoke these things concerning the Spirit of God, that out of your belly will flow not one river, rivers of living water. Oh, my God. Amen. You are going to experience, amen, the rivers of God flowing in you, that you will be a well-watered garden. My God. And you will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. And it says, Isaiah, Psalm 46, uh, 4, there is a river, the streams thereof, not one stream. There is a river, one, but the stream, plural, thereof, shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. One river, singular, many streams, plural. Amen. And so today we're going to pray. Amen. As we, as we um, press into, amen, the few minutes left, we're going to focus on this. 
that the rivers, amen, amen, are going to flow in Consistently, amen, unprecedentedly, amen, for you to be a well-watered garden, a well-watered garden, amen, in, internally, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, I mean, financially, the river that will become rivers is going to flow and you will be a well-watered garden. So we're going to deal, praise God, according to uh, uh, Genesis, amen, and he says, um, number one, the first river was Pishon. Pishon, amen, uh, uh, um, means uh, increase of full flowing, increase of full flowing, amen. And God is wanting you to know that as that first tributary begins to flow, for you to be a well-watered garden, you are going to walk in increase. You're going to walk in full flowing, amen. And, and God is literally saying to you and I that there will, not be, there will no longer be scarcity. There will no longer be lack because God is a God of abundance, amen. Ephesians 3 verse number 19, he says that you might experience, amen, and be filled with the fullness, that you'll be filled with the fullness in every area of your life. John uh, uh, one sixteen, the Amplified says that out of his fullness, out of his abundance, we have all received, all had a share, and were all supplied with one grace after another, and spiritual blessings upon spiritual blessings, and even favor upon favor, and gift heaped upon gift. My God. So you're going to unmute the line for two minutes, and you're going to pray, Lord God, that let the first river, the river of Python, begin, Python, begin to flow and well water my garden, the garden of my life, the garden of my relationship, the garden of my family, the garden of my destiny, the garden of my purpose, let it be, amen, well watered by passion, whereby it will be flowing, full flowing in increase, in the name of Jesus, in the fullness, in the name of Jesus, and from one grace after another, and one spiritual blessing upon a spiritual blessing, and even favor upon favor, and gift upon gift, in the name of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God. Open your mouth and begin to pray for two minutes straight. Let the river, the first river, amen, that is flowing, Pisces, let it begin to flow, full flow in my life, in the name of Jesus. Increase, oh God, the fullness of God. I don't want just a little father. Right. 
that's better than living God. Let that river flow, oh God, the river of increase, the river of full flowing, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We thank you, Lord God. And, and it says, oh, there, that river, Pishon, and it says that it is the river Havala, around the land of Havila, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. There is bedlam, and there is onk stones, and so all the treasures that that river, when it flows, let it begin to flow and bring in even the gold, the, 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 the onk stones, the bedlam, the riches, the wealth, in the name of the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. And a river came out of Eden and it began, amen, to flow through the garden. And there were four heads, praise God. And the second river we're going to pray today that will be released to flow is Gihon, bursting forth. Amen. Gihon means to burst forth. And so Gihon means bursting forth or gushing. Amen. I just don't want that river to flow. I just don't want it, people of God, amen, to flow and, and, and grow, increase, amen, increase of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all these special uh, things that we are praying for uh, in this time. But I want it to burst forth. I want it to gush. Amen. So we're going to pray that the second river, Gihon, will begin to flow. It will gush forth. It will, it will burst forth in the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the living God. For however, you know, uh, as, as the fullness, amen, comes forth, amen, the bursting forth will begin to flow, amen. And as we experience an overflow, amen, then the bursting forth will come forth as the nature of God will burst forth. The wisdom of God will burst forth. The favor of God will burst forth in the name of Jesus. Jesus said in John 414. Amen. In the message version, anyone who drinks the water, amen, I will give him will never thirst, not ever. The water I give will be an artesian spring within, gushing fountains of endless life. We are going to pray that this second river will be gushing forth as fountains of endless life. Amen. Endless life. The life of God. Amen. Will gush forth in your in your life, in your body, in everything pertaining to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. People, don't God doesn't desire you and I to merely live lives of survival. Amen or just stop and from survival to success. Amen. God, God wants us to move beyond survival and success to significance. Amen. To significance. So open the line. Two minutes. Amen. And pray for Gaishan to burst forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Gush forth fountains of endless life. For it came that you might have life and life more abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, 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 I'm <laughs> 
In the name of Jesus, let us overflow, Father God. Let us gush forth, O God, that by the river of your spirit, O God. Let it overflow, Father God, out of our lives, O God. Even as it came forth out of out of Eden and watered, O God, the garden. Let the river of your spirit gush forth, O God, out of our lives, O God. And not just be a blessing to us, but be a blessing to everyone. Be a blessing to others, O God. Let it water every other area, O God, even beyond us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that will be filled with the Spirit, that the Spirit in us will overflow, that our cup will run over. In the name of Jesus, that as our cup runs over, surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. We want that, O oh God, the river of your Spirit to gush forward, O oh God, that, O oh God, the goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Very quickly, I'm running out of time. Amen. The third river. Amen. A river flowed out of Eden. Praise God. And watered the garden through four tributaries. Amen. And the third tributary of that river was Heidekel. Amen. Heidekel, and the, which, which is also Tigris. And it means swift or darting. And it's a, 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 a word picture of a swift arrow in flight. Amen. A swift arrow in flight, people of God. And so we're going to pray. Amen. That Heidekel, uh, amen, or um, uh, uh, Tigris will begin to flow through us. Amen. Throw through us. Amen. As a swift, amen, arrow. Amen. Shot out of the quiver of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus, that we will no longer be passive. Amen. But we will be proactive. Amen. That we will be quick. Amen. We will be energetic. In the name of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God, that it was like a swift arrow in flight. That, amen. That once it's released, amen, from the bow, amen, uh, it is first of all aimed at a target. And so we're going to pray that this next river of the Spirit that is going to flow and water our garden, amen, we'll, we'll, we'll have a goal, we'll have objectives, amen, in the name of Jesus. So Tigris also means purpose, amen. It also means purpose, people of God, because God is a God of plan, he's a God of purpose, he's a God of objectivity, amen, that in this season, amen, as we come to the close of the 21 days, as we get ready to move into 2021, oh my God, my true Lebro Sekaya, 21, as we get ready to move into 21, let me tell you that, 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 that Heidekel, Tigress, oh God, amen, the purpose of God in our life will begin to flow fully in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that God's purpose will begin to manifest, that we'll be able to have goals, we'll be able to have objectives, that the arrow, amen, will be, will be, will be shot with precision in the name of Jesus. We're no longer going to be hitting and missing in the name of Jesus. No more hitting and missing. That the Holy Spirit, amen, will help us, amen, amen, especially those of you who are deliberate and intentional, amen, to direct the arrows, our purpose, the arrows of our purpose to begin to flow incessantly. I want to prophesy, amen, before I run out of time, that God is sending a river of purpose to flow in your lives, amen. God is going to bless you, amen, in every area as you purpose, as you aim, amen, as you set your objectives. God is going to uh, release you into the place of purpose, amen, and you will see it, you will experience Experience it. You will, you will, you will, you will feel and uh, uh, the, the impact of it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're gonna pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. That this river be activated fully in your lives, in your family, in your relationships, in your marriages, in your businesses, in your ministry. In the name of Jesus, let the river of Hydekel, Tigris, begin to flow in the name of Jesus. Please unmute the light in the name of Jesus. Father God, we we pray for the full. Yes, <laughs> 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Ooh, I've run out of time. Listen, and the fourth river, people of God, amen, is the Euphrates. The, the word Euphrates means fruitfulness. Amen, fruitfulness. Oh, my God. Fruitfulness. Euphrates was the fourth river that came out of Eden, the fourth tributary, and the Euphrates. Amen. And, and, and we've talked about the first three. I want to talk about the first three rivers that we have asked God to activate for them to begin to flow in our lives. Amen. The fullness, the overflow, the purpose of God. We are asking now that everywhere, amen, that, that river flows, it will water the garden, and the garden will be fruitful. It will be fruitful. It is God's desire for you to be fruitful. Amen. To be fruitful. Amen. You will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You pray this means fruitful. And as God is saying, as we come to the end of these 21 days, and as we get ready by the grace of God, amen, to transition into 2021, you will be fruitful. You will be fruitful. Everything that your hand touch will be fruitful. That's what the word of God says. The Bible says in Leviticus 26, verse number 9, amen, and 10, and it says, For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you, and you shall eat old store, and bring forth the old, because of the new. Amen. And God is saying that this, 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 this final river, amen, the Euphrates, let it flow. The river of fruitfulness. People of God, God wants you, amen, to walk in fruitfulness, to be fruitful. You are designed by God to be fruitful. Your DNA, your genes, your chromosome, your life has a seed of fruitfulness. According to Genesis 1 and 28, fruitfulness is not a request. Fruitfulness is not a suggestion. Fruitfulness is a demand. It is a command because it is the first thing that God spoke on the hard disk, the hard empty disk of man. Amen. Before man had anything programmed in him, the first word, amen, that was spoken into the hard disk of man was be fruitful. My God. Be fruitful. So God expects you to be fruitful. Amen. Because when you input something into your computer, come on, people. Amen. When you go back to your computer and you search for what you input, you expect the computer to cause that thing, that file, to pop up. You know why you expect it to pop up? Because you put it there. So when God says, be fruitful. Amen. That was the first word that was spoken on the hard disk of man. God, when he says, be fruitful, when God goes and presses the button, amen, he expects fruitfulness to come forth, amen? And so we're going to pray uh, this uh, final river of fruitfulness to flow, amen, in our life, in the name of Jesus. I've run out of time, not out of what God is saying.
saying, Jesus, have mercy. If you can give me just another seven minutes, I'll be done. Amen. So we're going to pray in these areas. Amen. Number one, you're going to pray the fruit of your hands, that God will make your hands to be fruitful. Seven areas. There are seven days left. Seven days left. Amen. To the end of this fast. And God will perfect those things concerning you. Seven is the number of perfection. Seven is the number of completion. There are some things that God is going to perfect. There are some things that God is going to complete. And it's the number one, that you will be fruitful, the works of your hand. God will bless the works of your hand. And I'm summarizing quickly. Number two, that you will be fruitful in your mind. You will be creative. Your creativity will begin to flow. Your ability to create, your ability to design, your ability to begin to think and things will, pictures will come in your mind again. Amen. And I'm moving quickly. The fruit of your mind, you will be fruitful. And the Bible says, wherever those rivers flow, you will be like a well watered garden and you will be fruitful. Number three, you're going to pray that the fruit of your lips, amen, that everything you say, amen, will be fruitful. Amen. It will be fruitful. Your words will be fruitful. Your words will cause areas to be fruitful. Barren areas will become fruitful when you speak to the barren areas, when you speak to the valleys, when you Speak, son of man, prophesy to these dry bones. And when you speak, your words will cause fruitfulness to come forth. Number, 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 um, I don't know what number I'm on now. Number four, the fruit of your womb. Amen. The Bible says in Deuteronomy and uh, 713, and he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee and will also bless the fruit of your womb. That the fruit of your womb will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Number five, you will be fruitful. Amen. Uh, the fruit of your ground, the fruit of the earth. Amen. Proverbs 12, 11 says that he that tilleth his land, he that tilleth his business, he that tilleth his ministry, the, the Bible says that his land shall be satisfied with bread. Amen. He'll be satisfied with bread and be fruitful. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy ground, in the fruit of your ministry, in the fruit of your business, in the fruit of your endeavor. Oh my God, I feel that all on my head. In the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. Amen. So you'll be fruitful. Number five, in, the, in, the, in, in everything that God has entrusted. Number six, in the fruit of your body. Number seven, in the fruit of your spirit. Amen. The Bible speaks about the fruit of the spirit. And so for these few minutes that are left, amen, pray the last river to begin to flow. That everything, amen, will be fruitful. It will be fruitful. You will be fruitful. Amen. Everything concerning you will be fruitful. Amen. Everything concerning your family will be fruitful. Everything concerning your business, at your job, you will be fruitful. Joseph, you are a fruitful vine. You are a fruitful vine. Your vine goes past the wall, my God, which means that your, no wall can hinder you. No wall can, can stop you. No wall can impede you. Let me tell you, they tried to stop Joseph. His brothers tried to stop him. They tried to put him in a pit. They sold him to the Ishmaelites. They, he went to prison. But he, God had already released a prophetic word through his father, Jacob, Batoya. And he said, Joseph, you are a fruitful vine, my God. And your vine will go past every wall, every wall of impediment, every wall of resistance, every wall of hindrance. In the name of Jesus, open the light. People of God, pray with power. Pray with passion. Pray like you've never prayed before. The Lord is saying, I am releasing the rivers in you in the name of Jesus. And you will be a well-watered garden. And you will be fruitful. And your fruit will remain. Open the slide. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus I'm <laughs> 
In the name of the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we pray, O oh God, that our land will be fruitful, our, our, our families will be fruitful, our sons and daughters will be fruitful, our ministries will be fruitful, the works of our hands will be fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that we will be fruitful. In the seven areas, O oh God, that we have presented before you, O oh God, our minds will be fruitful, O oh God. In our hands, the works of our hands will be fruitful, O oh God. We'll be fruitful in our wombs, O oh God. We'll be fruitful, Father, in every area. Area, the word that will speak will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We thank you for quickening, O oh God. We thank you for unleashing, O oh God, and releasing, O oh God, the river out of Eden to water our garden, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and the end, O oh God, will be fruitfulness, O oh God. And the Lord said, be fruitful, O oh God. Be fruitful in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Be fruitful mentally. Be fruitful emotionally. Be fruitful psychologically. Be fruitful spiritually. Be fruitful physically. You will be fruitful in every area. In the mighty name. Be fruitful financially. In the name of the blood of Jesus. Christ the Son of the living God. Let the river of fullness flow. Let the river of overflow flow. Let the river of purpose flow. Let the river of fruitfulness flow. In the name of the blood of Jesus. That we will be a well-watered garden, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we thank you. Father, Father, we bless you. Father, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify you in the name of the blood of Jesus, Christ, the blood of the living God. For it is so, and it cannot be otherwise. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken, and your zeal shall perform it. Your passion shall perform it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Unmute the line for one minute and open your mouth and give God a big shout, a big I mean, a big shout. Amen. As you shout, you are activating this thing in your life. You will begin to see the manifestation of the activation in Jesus' name. Unmute the line, please, one minute. Amen. <laughs> Mandaria, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. You shall be like a well-watered garden whose springs, whose spirit 
will never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. As we close, people of God, thank you and forgive me for taking up a little bit of your time. Amen. But this thing is so powerful as we are closing. I wanted to go deep down. Amen. Beyond your blood into your bone marrow. Amen. And so that you will continue to push and finish strong in Jesus' name. And this is the, one of the things the Lord was laying on my heart. Deuteronomy 26. Amen. Verse number two. Thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth, which thou bring of the land that the Lord thy God gives thee. And thou shalt put it in a basket and shall go unto the place, amen, that the Lord thy God will choose to place his name there, amen, the place, amen, the place that God has, has put his name there, amen, and Deuteronomy 26, 3, and it says, and thou shalt go unto the priest, that thou shalt be in those days and say unto him, I profess this day unto the Lord thy God, that I am come unto the place which the Lord swear unto my fathers for to give us, and so God is saying, people of God, amen, as we come to the end of this fast, amen, I want you, amen, as we get up this night to start, amen, preparing, amen, to prepare, amen, especially for that last and the final day, amen, to bring our first fruit, amen. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say seven, as we said, seven, seven and seventy, amen, that God will perfect everything, God will complete everything, amen. So prepare that seed, amen, prepare that seed of seventy or seven, whatever the Lord uh, places on your heart. But I heard seventy, amen, but it's on Monday, not today. Monday, as we close, and Monday we're going to prophesy, we're going to decree, we're going to declare, we're going to seal some things, amen, in the realm of the spirit, and God will give that opportunity, amen, the say, I want that opportunity to plant that seed, the first fruit, before we go. As you come, amen, as I was reading this and studying it, amen, and it says that they came speaking, they came speaking, so begin to speak over that seed from today, begin to speak, and when they came speaking back then, this is what happened, and this is what happened, but the Lord blessed me. This is what happened, and, I, and the Lord spared me. This is what happened, and the snare broke. This is what happened, and they came speaking. So as you come, speak on that seed. Whatever you're speaking, I was jobless. I had no source of income until you blessed me. You provided my needs. I have I've come to offer my first fruits. I was sick. You healed me. I was, I, was, uh, I was despondent, and Lord, you brought me out. I was oppressed, Lord God. I didn't think I was going to make it. Speak over. This is what it says. Oh Lord, I give you, I give, I give you my first fruit. Amen. This is for Monday. This is the instruction. Remember, amen. Everything is always contingent on obedience. Amen. Because outside of obedience, it doesn't matter how many declarations you make. It doesn't matter how many prayer points you have prayed. It doesn't matter how many times you come before God. You know, you've laid out on, on the floor. Let me tell you the key thing that, that prayer declarations, all of those things will never, will never replace is obedience. Obedience. Amen. Obedience is the key that unlocks the gate of heaven. Amen. Abraham could have laid down and, 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 and prayed and cried and lamented and all that. But outside of obedience, amen, he would have never seen the manifestation. Amen. The response always is to obedience. Amen. And so that's, a, that's a, the instruction that the Lord gave me. Amen. Uh, and for, so Monday, prepare your seed. Prepare your seed as we come. Praise God. We will be a well-watered garden. Amen. A well-watered garden whose spring will never run dry. And as we come to that 21st day, we pre as God prepares to launch us and transition us into uh, 2021, we will begin to see the fruitfulness of God. Amen. Praise God. I'm sorry for taking your time, but hey, I felt the Holy Spirit flowing powerfully. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and grant you peace. Shalom in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Again, we'll meet here 12 noon, Psalm 91 prayer was. I thank all of you that have been pressing your way. And then tomorrow again, 5 a.m. here at the prayer altar call where we gather at the altar to the altar to be altered. When you're praying for victory, you're praying from a place of victory. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Bye.